Welcome to Video Plan Guide and the 1987 Integrated Marketing Plan from Coca-Cola USA. This presentation is divided into three parts. First, you will find an overview of the major programs in the 1987 plan. Each program preview is only one minute long, so please refer to the binder for complete details. Next are three success stories, which are each about five minutes long. And last, there's an exciting new sales rally film called Top Gun. For easy access, each program has a small code number in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, which corresponds to the number on the index inside the cover of the video case. We hope you'll enjoy Video Plan Guide. The 1987 Integrated Marketing Plan is designed to provide uniformity of all marketing elements in support of stated objectives for a predetermined group of brands during a specified time or emphasis period. By uniformity, we mean that all the marketing elements have a common theme that reinforce one another, from TV to point of sale. The media elements will work together from the network promotional spot to your local media, and likewise for the marketing elements. For example, during a low-cal emphasis period with heavy media, we'll focus on low-cal promotions, low-cal merchandising items, low-cal trial programs, and low-cal incentive programs. Of course, what you'll see today is only the National Shell Plan. These resources, when combined with area, tag group, and local bottler programs, result in a total integrated marketing plan. So with uniformity of marketing elements, we need to discuss groups of brands and time periods or emphasis periods. Following the lead of many bottlers, we have focused on quarterly emphasis periods. The first quarter emphasis is on low-cal brands. Second and third quarter emphasis is on the sugar brands. And fourth quarter will be the citrus emphasis period. When we say emphasis period, we mean extra emphasis on these brands, above and beyond your regular ad feature schedule. We mean extra displays, overlays, in-stores, side stacks, or whatever you call them, extra cases on display. The promotions and programs that follow are simply tools to help you get those extra displays. Let's take a look at the first quarter low-cal emphasis period. Low-calorie brands are the focus of the first quarter emphasis period. The integrated marketing components designed to support your incremental display building activities include heavy media rotations for selected diet brands, two national consumer promotions, a flexible local promotion, special trial size offer for low-calorie brands, three key merchandising opportunities, and two exciting incentive programs. Now let's take a closer look at each first quarter opportunity. Caribbean cruise trips for two are the grand prizes of this national consumer sweepstakes. Program support includes network TV and a February thematics ad delivering 52 million product coupons. To help you get the incremental display space you need, take advantage of these free cruise ship display units. As an incentive to build these impressive displays, route men, plant managers, and store managers have a chance to win a cruise too. Plus, a special NCL offer gives you the option to extend the program with local or chain-specific cruise promotions. The grand prize winner of this national sweepstakes gets VIP seats at concerts by Diet Coke celebrities. A national FSI delivers details in March along with 48 million coupons. In keeping with a modern, leading-edge image of the brand, the featured dealer loader is the latest high-tech sensation, compact disc players. To help you get the players you need to get up those extra displays, you may purchase a limited number of compact disc players for only $49. A key opportunity to build incremental displays and sales comes from an FSI tie-in with Weight Watchers Pizza. The FSI, slated for February, delivers valuable savings on featured brands. In-store trial activity is vital to a totally integrated marketing plan. To complete your low-calorie emphasis period efforts, take advantage of the pre-priced trial size bottles and cans, the most successful trial-generating offer ever developed, and the special merchandising equipment offer. Complete details are available later on this tape. To summarize, the first quarter offers you the media, consumer promotions, optional local activities, trial opportunities, merchandising, and incentive programs you need to implement a fully integrated plan in your market. 
The emphasis is on sugar brands in the second quarter. Integrated marketing programs designed to support your incremental display building activities include a heavy network media schedule for Coca-Cola Classic, Coke, and Sprite, an innovative comprehensive marketing program with Disney, which includes a national consumer promotion and a local continuity building promotion, a national sweepstakes for Cherry Coke, a special trial size offer on sugar brands, and three key merchandising opportunities. Now let's take a closer look at each second quarter opportunity. Walt Disney World celebrates its 15th birthday in 1987, and we've teamed up with Disney to take advantage of this major promotional opportunity. There are three key benefits to this opportunity. First, it's exclusive. The competition simply can't offer it. Second, Disney programs meet with unparalleled consumer and trade response. And third, from an integrated marketing standpoint, the Disney publicity expertise should generate a lot of awareness of the 15th birthday activities. The $15 million watch and win celebration is first on the list of powerful 87 programs with this prestige account. The primary goal of this activity is to get can overlay displays during Easter on top of your regular ad feature program. The program, supported by network promotional television spots, kicks off with a national FSI, which delivers the game piece necessary to enter the sweepstakes, along with a $1 rebate offer on a case of cans. Deluxe family vacations to Walt Disney World are the grand prize for this event, and consumers can get additional entries for watch and win at your store displays. To help get those displays in place, a three-dimensional replica of Cinderella's castle is available. Other national media support for the sweepstakes includes our sponsorship of the Disney Easter Parade and the Disney Sunday Movie, which consumers watch for clues to win the sweepstakes. Your opportunity to build major incremental can displays for Easter will be even better if you include the image-building purchase continuity magic of the Disney Collector Can Series. Featuring some of Disney's most popular characters, the series is available on sugar and diet brands. Keys to the World is an optional, local, or chain-specific program tied directly to the 15th birthday celebration. To fully capitalize on the momentum generated by Watch and Win, this program should be run in May or June. This flexible media merchandising program is designed to build purchase continuity to keep your displays up for at least four weeks. In addition, the program offers you the opportunity to offer your local consumers deluxe family vacations to Walt Disney World, and you can get the vacations free for generating appropriate media weight. Dealer loaders to support your Disney programs will be discussed later in this presentation. This local option promotion, designed to reinforce the Cherry Coke single drink marketing strategy, offers consumers a chance to win a concert for their school by Cool in the Gang. To support this program, there are a variety of dealer loaders, and opportunities exist for you to tie in locally to their concert tour and leverage displays. Remember, in-store trial activity is vital to a totally integrated plan. To complete your sugar brand emphasis period efforts, take advantage of the pre-priced trial size bottles and cans, the most successful trial generating offer ever developed, and the special merchandising equipment offer. Complete details are available later on this tape. To summarize, the second quarter offers you the media, consumer promotions, optional local activities, trial opportunities, merchandising, and incentive programs you need to implement a fully integrated plan in your market. Sugar brands are the emphasis again in the third quarter. To help you get the incremental displays you need during this period, there is a strong schedule for sugar brands national FSI offers, several Disney purchase continuity programs and special dealer loaders, a unique sweepstakes concept designed for you to customize to fit your special needs, an all-new UTC program, introduction of a new and improved video van, three radio merchandising plans. Now for a closer look at these flexible opportunities. This purchase continuity program offers a unique collector series of Disney pins, which can be delivered in a number of different ways to meet your channel promotion needs. On label, which can be used in any channel, as near packs, which would be ideal for convenience stores, as mini sets featured on three spot headers, which would work well in remaining stores, as deluxe 60 pin sets, which you could feature as an in-store sweepstakes prize. 
The pins, along with a variety of quality premiums, can be used for radio merchandising, local sweeps awards, or dealer loaders to support your Disney programs throughout the year. It's a wave, it's a new wave, it's a Coca-Cola wave. Catch the wave at Walt Disney World with Coca-Cola. Enter the double wave vacation sweepstakes from your Coca-Cola bottler. If you win, you'll fly by American Airlines for the first wave of your vacation to Walt Disney World for a ride on the Liberty Square Riverboat. Then for the second wave, you'll sail for the Bahamas on Premier Cruise Lines. Get details on Z100, entry blanks at Pathmark stores, and catch the wave at Walt Disney World with Coke. The key benefit of the Double Wave Vacation Sweepstakes is that it gives you a Disney tie-in all year long. This unique media merchandising program is a low-cost opportunity supported by high-quality materials that you can customize for a specific chain or run market-wide. Jay, tell her what she can win. Great prizes like a 1986 Subaru XT Coupe, oh. a Yamaha Riva motorcycle, oh. and lots of other great prizes. Hot UTC concepts have helped build single drink activity with the youth market the last few years. And the concept for the 1987 Hot Tops UTC promises to be the hottest concept of them all. Details are coming to you soon. Three great ways to make the airwaves and build displays are coming to you for Coke and Coca-Cola Classic. Use these innovative radio merchandising concepts anytime you choose and move the youth market in your direction. It's red, it's hot, it's what the competition hasn't got. The new and improved video van for Coke. Updated and fully equipped to do professional remotes. Better still, order the van and you could be entitled to a $5,000 rebate plus a $1,000 discount plus free installation. For more on the video van, take a look at the video van success story included on this tape. Two national FSIs teaming up Minute Maid with Nabisco will be delivered during the third quarter. The offer, featured on selected packages of Nabisco snack foods and crackers, offer consumers the opportunity to pick up free Minute Maid soda. To summarize, the third quarter offers you the media, consumer promotions, optional local activities, trial opportunities, merchandising, and incentive programs you need to implement a fully integrated plan in your market. The fourth quarter emphasis is behind our citrus brands. Major media support comes to you with holiday rotations on network television. In order to capitalize on the latest trends and developments, we're waiting to finalize our preliminary plans until 1987. In celebration of Black History Month, the Share the Dream promotion will award scholarships to sweepstakes winners to NAFEO schools throughout the country. Print ads will deliver product coupons and entries for the event. Additional entries will be available at point of sale. A variety of quality premiums are available for you to use as dealer loaders and radio merchandising activities. The goal of this program is to make a strong, low-calorie impact in the black market for Diet Coke. In addition to announcing our sponsorship of the prestigious Ebony Fashion Fair, a four-color double-page spread in Ebony will deliver a coupon for Diet Coke. Popular premiums combined with a display of Coca-Cola Classic, Diet Coke, Sprite, and Cherry Coke should prove to be a winning combination for you. The header card series is a proven way to generate incremental displays and build your image with your black and Hispanic consumers. Baseball is one of the most popular sports within the Hispanic community. And this promotion provides the ultimate prize for any baseball fan, a trip to the World Series and a chance to meet Hispanic superstar Fernando Valenzuela. Entries are available at point of sale, and quality baseball premiums along with a poster of Fernando are available to help you get the incremental displays and radio merchandising support you're looking for. Family get-togethers are important to your Hispanic customers. And the winner of this sweepstakes will have $10,000 to spend on the family celebration of his choice. Entry blanks are available at point of sale, and a wide variety of high-quality dealer loaders are available to support this event. Building on the success of last year's program, we have developed an even better trial size offer. This year, you enjoy the flexibility of selecting either pre-priced 10-ounce non-returnable bottles or cans. Better still, for every two cases you buy, you'll get one case free, 
we've created a special fund of a penny a person for every person in your territory. For more on trial size, see the success story film included later in this presentation. Before planning your marketing calendar, investigate the opportunities available with your remaining stores. An in-depth look at the keys to unlocking the potential of this channel is available in the remaining store success stories included later in this presentation. The right equipment can make a big difference in your display building activities. So for a limited time, we'll send you one free rack for every rack you buy. The buy one, get one free offer applies on payloader units, including rack and bins and rack and bins fitted with upgraded features perfect choices for your trial size activities. The original payloader series are still the most efficient low-cost racks for remaining stores and the all-new all-plastic payloader 250 with a 2-liter capacity of 250 bottles yours at a deal price of just $76. Combine the 250 with a new 120 and you have a commanding end aisle display holding 490 2-liter bottles for less than $150. Another piece of equipment included in the buy one, get one free offer is side cell, the slim gravity feed units that pack extra inventory into less than seven inches of space. Successful examples of side cell versatility can be seen in the remaining store success stories later in this presentation. Also new and included in the buy one, get one free offer is the fold and stack, a sturdy, durable, stackable unit that one person can put together quickly and easily. No nuts, no bolts, no hassles. Just unfold and stack. Deal price, $43. Two incentive programs are available to support your 1987 efforts with your sales force and the trade. Details of the Wilson and a la carte programs are included in your binder. Both are effective ways to help leverage in-store display activity. There you have it, the 1987 Integrated Marketing Plan. Media and marketing working together, giving you the tools to get those extra displays. It's the dawning of a whole new way to sample your customers. A whole new, low-cost way to get every brand trial in your market fast. Since the trial size package was introduced, bottlers from coast to coast have taken advantage of this inexpensive way to sample their customers. Developed exclusively for the use of bottlers of Coca-Cola, the pre-priced packaging has achieved extraordinary results. The trial size is the way I tried my first Coke, and I thought it was very good. The trial size gave me the perfect opportunity to try the new Coke product. Well, at 19 cents, you can't beat it. Retailers and bottlers who work together to implement the program are also enthusiastic about the trial size sampling concept. We went to each individual store with the trial size 10 ounce. We used it in sampling Diet Coke. And now we have come back with trial size, pre-priced brand Cokes. We've had a good consumer reaction uh, to the trial size. Especially in our can and two liter volume, we've seen a very substantial increase. The consumers liked the 10 ounce trial size. Our accounts like the 10 ounce trial size. We really believe in the trial size program along with the special display. I have no problems with recommending that to any grocer. Cities like Dayton aren't the only ones who have a thirst for trial size sampling. Similar success stories have been reported from smaller communities too, like Middlesboro, Kentucky. What we wanted to accomplish with the trial size offer was to sample the consumer that was drinking Pepsi-Cola primarily. We took it to the Pepsi Heartland market in our territory. We went across several routes and offered it on a fairly large geographic area to a number of different customers and we achieved from that a switching of their drinkers to our product. We found excellent uh, trade support for the program. They loved the promotion and they gave us the space necessary and they offered us additional space in most cases. Trial size is a winner. I know it from experience. It happened in our marketplace, 
and it has converted many Pepsi-Cola drinkers. We are pleased and excited with it, and we'll run it again. The trial size program was appealing to me. Well, I could bring it in. The price was right. The customers picked it up. It sold itself. In addition to the 10-ounce trial size bottles, the sampling program was run using 12-ounce trial size cans for brand Coke and our entire low-calorie lineup, just like they did it in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. We chose a free can instead of a 10-ounce bottle for the simple reason that 52% of our business here in Pennsylvania is in, in the 12-ounce can. Our trial offer program consists of, of simply handing out a can of Coca-Cola at the checkout counter. We're showing a steady increase in all our products because we can dry sample every one of them where we feel there's a need and help the growth of, of each package. Since we've been using sampling, our, our sales have, have been tremendous. We've, we've shown double-digit growth for, for the last two and a half years. This program has helped us uh, not only in penetration of one product and package, but it has also helped us in the supermarket to gain large displays of all our products and packages, and plus getting the newspaper ad for our products. Uh, the program is very simple, it's, it's easy, and it works. We've had a lot of positive comments, and we're really happy that we went with the program. It's, it's been a real, real plus for the store. Either way, bottles or cans, trial it, and you'll like it as much as these bottlers have. We experimented with trial size several months ago with the 10 ounce NR or Coke, pre-priced at 19 cents. That was met with such enthusiasm from our salespeople and the uh, store owners that we have just recently instituted another trial size program. We go to the dealer and offer the dealer a, a ice chest and a hot price on 16 ounce NR, we found that this is the promotion to do in small stores to get trial for any product or package that you're interested in. Our trial size program was on Diet Coke and caffeine free Diet Coke. And it was basically the kickoff to a um, full blown, well planned Diet Coke emphasis parade on where we executed trial size tied in with sales incentives dealer incentives, uh, discounted price, and uh, display building contest. During the six weeks of our program, we had a 70% increase on Diet Coke and a 150% increase on caffeine-free Diet Coke. The way to use trial size the best, in, in my opinion, is to use it as an effective marketing tool and, and weapon against competition. Take advantage of this tried and proven program to generate sampling and encourage trading up to larger sizes in your town. Look for complete details in the Trial It, You'll Like It plan guide today. We're here looking for the video van. Anybody seen it? Smitty? Oh, wise guy. <laughs> It's red, it's hot, it's what the competition hasn't got, the video van. The Rock'em Sock'em Knock'em Dead promo vehicle of the 80s, on the road for Coke. It's coming this summer to your neighborhood. You won't know where or when, but when it gets there, it's going to be instant party. The Coke video van, fully outfitted with a 50-inch diagonal screen and six giant speakers, delivering stereo rock video everywhere it goes. The Coke video van, it's coming, and you could even win it. Listen to Z104 Radio to find out how to win. has given uh, Brand Coke a tremendous amount of exposure in the youth market. The van is nothing short of phenomenal. Uh, it has paid us back on promotional airtime, whatever we've put into it so far to date. And we've got at least another two years that we know we're going to get out of the van. It's a, an instant 
people generator. People will come out just to see the van. Uh, it'll bring a crowd of people anywhere we go. We were very excited with the way that the video van worked out for us this year. We've used it at convenience stores. We've been using it at independent stores to do sampling. It's gotten the uh, DJs out in public. It's the visibility of having your station and your personalities on the street communicating with the people that they have to communicate with to score ratings. The thing I was really impressed about the video van is that uh, it helped my, my business and it, it showed an increase of 13% over the previous two Fridays before the van uh, came out on the promotion. <laughs> Video Van creates excitement for our people by giving them something to really push and, and blunt the competition with. Uh, it's a natural tie-in with uh, news media, with uh, the radio stations, with the newspapers, with the television stations. This has got to be the hottest promotional tool of all in that it's constant, it's a very hot item, it's something that creates instant excitement. And uh, let's face it, there's just nothing like the video van. We thought it would be great for Waterworld because it's, it's really brought a lot of people out here today. It looks like maybe we're going to have a record attendance. We've used the van primarily to satisfy customer promotions and as tie-in with local media radio stations. The video van has given us a high-tech, progressive image in the Twin Cities, and one that we're going to continue with next year. We've already had requests from many of the places we've been this year to return. I've been to all kinds of events with the video van, going from county fairs to grand openings. You're always going to where people are having fun, and people really, they like to see you, they're happy that you're there. Coca-Cola video van is the, the most successful audiovisual tool that the Atlanta Coca-Cola bottling company has ever used. It's basically like an MTV on wheels. Um, it really draws large crowds for us. I drive the um, sample van and we go together to the same places and while the kids are watching the videos they come over and I'll fill up sample cups and they get a drink of Coke. We use a Coke video van here in Dallas to promote new store openings, ballparks, youth activities, all kinds of special events where we can improve our image with a Coke Cola van. We're getting free time on radio stations and then they are tying us in with their promotions. The video van is one of those great ideas. It's something new and something exciting. It's giving us this event, that touch of excitement that we're trying to add. It was big in 86, but that was nothing compared to this, the all-new, all-improved video van. Awesome. Fantastic. They made every improvement I've asked for. And more. That's right. More space, more power, better visibility, more professional equipment. We're talking a high-tech, full-stereo, video-rama experience on wheels. Amazing. An easy-to-operate console. Two high-quality VHS tape decks a dual cassette player, two monitors with headphones, a new minimum glare screen so adoring crowds can see every video move, even at high noon. And it's all yours. Look for complete details in your plan guide and catch the video van in 87. We see an excellent opportunity to gain additional sales and space volume in the small stores segment. The remaining stores represent about 25% of our total accounts. They also generate over half of our case volume. They do about 25% of our operating profit. If you take the volume that the remaining stores offer, it's, it's quite significant. Bottlers from coast to coast have discovered that one of the keys to staying a step ahead of the competition and maximizing their sales and profit potential is to take a step back. Back to the basics, that is. 
and nurtures some of those overlooked opportunities in their market, such as remaining stores. What basic elements does it take to put together a successful remaining store program? Bottlers agree, with more and more people stopping by small stores to pick up a cold drink and snack, one of the five basic keys to success in remaining stores is single cold drink activity. It's a form of paid sampling. We feel that the consumer buys it cold to consume their own premises, that he will buy it in the multi-pack or two liter to take home. We figure about 65% of the volume that goes through these small stores uh, goes through single or cold. So most of our, most of our activity uh, is designed around maximizing uh, those dynamics. That would be in terms of gaining extra space outside the cold vault if we can, uh, specifically designed to get single bottle sales up front near the checkout counter at a price that's good to the consumer. There's no doubt about it. Cold drink activity is important. But the real motivating force that drives inventory is supporting all packages and products with the right deals and price promotions. We structure our single drink programs for, for remaining stores in such a way that the dealer can maintain his margin, increase his sale. We feel that it is important to offer the proper promotion to drive the single drink activity and also the hot displays. Since that store manager is usually also the owner, the rapport you establish with him will go a long way towards helping you sell in your products and programs. Many bottlers have found that dealer loader and dealer incentive programs are great motivators and have helped them achieve great results in their remaining stores. We recognize that there was a potential for additional single drink sales. With the help of our district manager, we put together a dealer incentive program called Clip Chip. We are experiencing 30% increases uh, in case volume through these selected stores. We are very pleased with our incentive program. We have generated a 15% increase in sales this year, and that is over a 15% increase in basically the same stores over 1985. Another key to unlocking the potential in your remaining stores is placing the equipment you need to support your efforts. The success of our, of our uh, single drink can promotion this summer was due to extra equipment that we were able to place in the stores. It is very important that you put the proper equipment within the stores to increase your visibility as well as availability. And what about the problem of placing two and three liter in remaining stores? Philadelphia Coke came up with a solution. Uh, we see an excellent opportunity to gain additional sales and space volume in the small stores segment. Primarily because if you take the Mon Pa store as an example, we don't have good distribution of two and three liter packages in those stores. So the side sale offers excellent opportunities there without taking up significant space. In the convenience and in the drug segment, there too we have the opportunity to really draw attention to the warm section of two and three liter. Uh, one of the key advantages to the side sale is that it allows us the opportunity of gaining an immediate 10 case incremental um, distribution. And that's very critical for our business, particularly in the small store segment. And we caught our competition really quite unprepared for it. They have not been able to respond in any way, shape, or form. And as a result, we have maintained our advantage at this point. The side sale is, an, is a Coca-Cola exclusive, and our competition does not have access to this wonderful marketing tool. The strange thing about the side sale rack was that there was no incentives or any dealer loaders needed at all. It sold on its own merits. We explained the benefits and the features of the side sale rack, and that was all that was necessary. Once we got that rack in, two liters started to fly out of the accounts because now we had the, the accounts with the racks in them and they were highly visible. The uh, limited footage needed to put the, the rack in has been just an asset to us that our competition can't compete with. What I really like about the side cell is that it only takes seven inches to get 30 bottles in space. It's five shelves holds a case on each, it's stackable, it's versatile. Versatile being that it could either be used with the side sign, the marquee, or not. It's gravity fed and the bottles are always forward. 
It not only says Coca-Cola, it also says on sale and the price. It gives you a space for the price. So mm -hmm. it's proven to be successful in our small account. So why shouldn't we use it in every, every account that we can get it in? It gives us the opportunity to increase our sales. It's an opportunity to gain incremental footage in small stores. And it's an opportunity to outclass our competition. Another major benefit growing out of your relationship with the store manager shows up in your ability to gain greater presence and top-of-mind awareness for your Coca-Cola brands. In order to get total identification in the stores, we provide them with static clinks on the coal vault doors, point of sale, the shelf talkers in the warm section, menu boards if appropriate, and uh, whatever else we have to have our trademark all over the store. All of this visibility is very important because it directs the people to our product and it's always a constant reminder to buy Coca-Cola. While competition continues strong in the supermarket soft drink aisle, take a step back to the basics and take a look at the overlooked opportunities in your territory and use the tried and proven keys to a remaining store program to unlock your sales and profit potential. We feel the remaining stores are an important segment of our market. It requires some extra time and effort, but the results are there. I believe with proper attention given to the remaining stores, there are incremental sales within our reach. If we do not allocate the time and the effort and make a commitment to work these channels, our competitor will. I've got him. 